Blanco sitting at 271 points. He is not sitting at 150. Definitely below the threshold. They definitely need to make something happen this weekend. And a win here would guarantee them a spot in top eight where they're guaranteed at least 100 points tomorrow. The number of sponsors on Itazan versus the blank wife beater, Mako, is the hugest disparity of... What if it's a Hanes sponsor? Did you consider that? Okay. What? No, it... I would... You think I won't... Bro, you think I don't play in a wife beater? They need to... Yeah, they need... Well, we need wife beater sponsors. Haynes. We need... Uh... Can we get some wife beater sponsors, man? Haynes, where y'all at? Mago here. Trying to get a big win here. This would really help him out if he can confirm himself for top eight at least. Here we go. Fight. Mr. Magoo versus Itazan. Now that people regard him as the best Abigail. Mr. Magoo. Okay, that's no, no punish there. Oh, crush. Oh, wow. Good pawn on the cross up and another crush. That's the thing, man. You have to make commitments in a lot of those mid screen situations against Abigail. If you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong in big ways, too, right? He's going to get a good. Bit of return, if not from position, then damage. Return. Easy DP for Mago. Like some of those reactions. Oh my goodness. Flipping on him. Gotta remember, Eda's on, of course, won that rage. Teamed up with Machibo and Gachikun, was able to beat all the other teams out. Oh, low light activation, that's it. Yep, and then turn up. Drink that juice. You know, I don't like to use the word thick, but. Abigail's arms are bigger than Cammy's entire body. That's a thick man. <laughs> I, he's not thick, he's brawling. Nice. Actually, go down there. No. The legendary Abigail. Yeah, that stand jab. You know Mago's looking for it. Itazan doesn't want to overcommit to using stand jab in that range just again because of the hurt box that it has, especially against someone like Kami who can easily whip punish it for big damage and corner carry. Has to cancel to make it safe. Okay. Doesn't want to get over reliant on it. Ooh, Back wow, up. that could have been dangerous. Yeah, that's brave. Mago turns off himself. He trigger hack. Sound working the low in the mid range. Says he's from Jersey Shore with the bad tan, the spray tan. <laughs> Alright, good corner control yeah, for Mago now. This is exactly where he wants it. Optimal positioning. Back up. Oh yeah, he's, oh. he's in the back. That's what you need to do. You actually need to run forward at Abigail and jump over him when he's charging up. Oh boy! Airborne, that's okay. You would never want to be on the ground for that. Oh, this is scary. Oh wow! He and didn't Edison. believe that Mago had gone around him, and it was actually the front should have pressed the button there. Oh, yeah, Mago got very lucky with that V-reversal activation there. That could have been much worse. That could have ended completely differently. Gotta feel good about that, though. He was able to win that round and still sit on his meter. Don't want to give it too many advantages or chances like that. There you go. Flex Hi. into it. The oh, it's going to walk all over. Carpet. How you gonna step on little mama like that? Hey, right? the down pierces now. That's actually the one of his more underrated buttons, in my opinion. Just deceptive reach. Oh, just slapped out of the air like a fly. Not non-committal, very low committal anti airs like that. That's so good. No mm. oh, clean jump in. He's committed to the punch Mago on the ground. Where you make it happen here, gets the forward throw. Backs off. That's what Dazan, though, on full resources. All it takes is this one hit into the conversion! Into the speed bag! Awesome fighting games done quick! Shattered glass. What if we came through your screen like Cammy did and actually called you out on the things that you guys are typing back home? Abigail wins. Would you still type it? And he's already on his phone. What is he doing on his phone? He does not. He's talking to himself. He's recording. <laughs> he's like, to my future grandchildren, I just beat Mago. Star date, Mog. Well, you only got one game. Set you got to calm down. You got to be play the set. Mago's still in it. 
It's not like he played poorly, right? It really came down to just that last exchange, and Edazon had the meat. If you're Edazon, you cannot be sitting too pretty. Maybe he was looking up some frame data there. He won, though. Why would you do more research? You should just do more of the same. You might not feel good about something. Man. There you go. Low confirm for Mago. Push to the wall now. Oh! Punch. Wow. He called that end there up so early. Mago with a good DP response there. Back off. Being very cautious about his approach here. He knows he sees that glowing red bar at the bottom right. Mago's going to use his own here. Turn up. Counter hit. No confirm, though. That was his chance. Activate. Yeah, down Pierce into activation here. Dangerous situation now, Mago. Yeah, just back away from him. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Do you agree with the use of the meter? To close out a round trip? Why not? Okay. Sure. All right. Why not? All right. Let's see how it plays out. The thing is, especially when he has trigger active like that, man, you don't even want a chance. Just take the round. If you have a chance to seize it, you build enough bar in this game in general to be able to feel good about make, taking up, the, you know, using your meter in those situations to be able to close out rounds. Especially with, yeah, especially with the way this matchup is played, like, look, there's a lot of blocking involved, oh, right? You're not just going to be able to build some bar back. And it's not like Shua's going to have that many opportunities to use it anyway. Yeah. So you can see Mago playing from a distance. No, he's down on life. It's very you see, he's, fi he's fishing for a counter hit here. He wants him to put out one of those buttons that have the big hurt boxes. They actually do have really, really standing no. stout hurt boxes in front of them that allow you to be able to counter like that. Good. Throw on the fever first, who gets the back. Oh! Arm is right through his offense. Wow. And Mago, yeah, just kind of back off, go back to my range, back to where I like to fight. Down fierce activation. Crouch jab, anti air. He's very low committal, anti air buttons. He's multi functional. Multi-purpose buttons from Abigail. See him trying to dissuade Mago from uh, Yeah. It's good because, it, I mean, it hits on the ground, but it's able to check you out the air, too. Oh, wow, with a gutsy read on the sweep. Okay, wow, he really threaded the needle in between the punches. Working his throw game now. Mago. Oh. Just like that, watch. He is super locked and loaded now, just like that. Low light into activation. In the buttons in the super, Mago! Tying it up here, 1-1 one, one against Itazan. This could be Mongo's coming out party. He is certainly long overdue for a player of this caliber. I think shades of last year too, right? It seemed like for, a, a, I'd say the first half of the year last year, he was struggling, 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 then finally had a big impact performance where he was able to get some points, get himself into the mix, right? Is this where it starts for him this year? Is the question. You gotta be able to, Mago, you gotta be able to get yourself in this top eight, guarantee yourself some points here. He really here. does need points. Yeah. He is on as well though, on the other side. He is on needs him more than he does. Okay. And standing medium, so good. Oh, that's a dangerous, but when you come in on the ground, Mago sniffed that out once. That's the thing. And you see Itazan really mixing up what buttons he's putting out in the mid range, right? Again, Kami with these very stout hitboxes himself, the far fierce, right? Very easily confirmable. You gotta be wary. Oh. Mago with big momentum right here. Jump starter. Oh, oh boy. Wall bound into the cross up. Oh wow, and should have waited for it to land, but he hit him there. Respecting the flip now, B reversal side switch. Oh, nothing, no crush! Oh. And that's it! I can't believe. With no, with all white light, nothing left. It is on hanging on though, set point, Itabashi Zangief. Point. Itibashi. <laughs> Itibashi. Itibashi. <laughs> Fierce doing the work, man. Halfway across the screen. Oh boy, is this is Santa into the medium punch confirmed. Push to the wall. Side switching now. Be reversal. Ooh, and he made his hurtbox switch by holding back and standing. I'm more amazed that he was being hit mashing like that. The <laughs> Abare. Okay, well, hit in the front. Spin the wind. Gets the forward throw. Stun building. Stun building. Take the throw, they said. Mago answering back. He has enough resources, too. And we're going to round three. Yes, there you go. We're going to round three. Let's go. Game three, round three. Game, game. Final round. Fight. Oh, it's marching oh, forward. My brother just marches like the way he walks. We've never seen. 
this tactic now. Burning the meter early. Hit him like the speed bag. 50% now. Over the screen. Such a sign. That's what Mago has been doing. This is where he gets his work done. This is copy and paste of the last round right now. This is what Mago was able to Ooh. do. Oh! Stay a medium punch confirms from Itazan though. Pulling down this mid range. Mago, you gotta make something happen big here right now. Stay medium punch confirmed. Back throw to the wall. Take the throw. They what? said down heavy anti air. There you go. Is that? Itabashi no. Zengi moving on. Winner side. The crowd loving the Abigail play from Itazan. Oh, and Mago with his head down with a hand extension. <laughs> the hand extension already out. Ooh, oh, he slapped him out. Gamer B with the assist. <laughs> It's out there. Will he take the hand? Oh my god. <laughs> bow. Just do the bow. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, he is on yucking it up, man. <laughs> People's champ.